Welcome to this DaVinci Resolve Fusion Node Breakdown. Today's node is the Box Blur node. So we're going to jump into Fusion and I'm going to bring in a Box Blur. Now, before I start going over this though, I, I want to go over some things that I think there's some confusion on because I'm still getting comments about uh, some of these nodes, people saying, uh, hey, they're redundant. Don't understand the difference and uh i get it but we are right now going over resolve fx node so the box blur is a davinci resolve fx that we can use with infusion so the difference is is if i go to uh fusion studio here and uh, i go to our effects and i peruse down to our uh blur and if you notice these are all the nodes we went over earlier so this is fusion studio the standalone of fusion and if i look i don't have a box blur i have all the other blurs the directional blur the defocus but i don't have a box blur we have our regular blur but if i go to davinci resolve within the fusion tab and hit shift space and look at it, all of our effects or I can look at all of our effects up here. If I go down and look for our blurs, we're just seeing our fusion blurs. But if I hit shift space, now we're starting to see all those additional OFX blurs, which are the DaVinci Resolve effects. So for example, if I look for our directional blur, we went over our directional blur already. And if you notice, there's a DRBL any of these nodes with these initials afterwards or these short keys afterwards or your fusion nodes. Anything else is OFX nodes. So this directional blur right here is a DaVinci Resolve OFX blur. And if you had other OFX like uh, Boris effects or anything else loaded on here, they would show up as well if they were allowed to be used in fusion. So our box blur is actually a resolve FX blur. So if I look, here's our box blur. So if I drag it over, now I've got our box blur on there. And uh, also I want you to pay attention to this little blur alpha checkbox because we're not gonna have it in Fusion. It's available on the normal one, but not with Infusion. So if I jump back into Fusion, here's our box blur. So that's the difference. So we previously went over all of Fusion native nodes, and now we're going over OFX nodes, specifically DaVinci Resolve OFX nodes available within Fusion. So our box blur. We've got some media, and I'm gonna input it into our little box blur here. And if I look, we've got a blur. And all the box blur is, is a variable blur that's in the shape of a box for your uh, footage. So if I go up here and I change the strength, you can see it's kind of boxy around the sides. That's why it's called a box blur. And under strength, I can uncheck same for horizontal and vertical, so I can independently change the vertical blur and the horizontal blur. Additionally, under our horizontal channel adjustment, we can adjust the colors of the blur independently. And this is dependent on your actual blur. So if I uh, shut our strength off and I change our red, you can see there's nothing happening because these are dependent on your blur. But if I add blur and I change my red, you can see those reds are blurring more or my blue. And we can adjust this vertically as well so I can change the reds on the vertical level. And then under advanced controls, this just changes the iterations. So the lower number of iterations we have, the lower the quality, the higher number of iterations, the higher the quality. And under border type, this is just how it's blurring along your borders. And right now it's set to reflect. So it's just going to reflect that image. We can have black. So now if we look, it's just going to be alpha or black around the edges. We have replicate, reflect, which is the default, and wrap around. 
Now, if you notice that blur alpha chat box isn't here, and that's because within Fusion, when we're using this node, it's automatically going to blur that uh, alpha. In the resolve side, if we're in our color tab and we use that blur alpha, it's just going to uh, dictate whether or not your alpha channels down here are being blurred along with your image. But with Infusion, it's going to do it normally. So if we uh, create an alpha, so now we're looking at our alpha. And if we look at our blur, you can see it's blurring our alpha automatically. And it's automatically applying anything to that alpha. And additionally on our blur, we have an input for an effect mask. So if I took that same ellipse and plugged it into the effect mask, it's only going to take effect wherever our mask is. So if I invert this and we move it over our face, now we can blur around our face. So that is the box blur. I will see you in the next no breakdown.